here. 961, 962. Dylan Cease and the Padres, plus 117. Jack Flaherty and the Dodgers at minus 127. Total of 7.5 is has a little bit of juice to the over here at minus 115. Corby Padres got the big win yesterday. A triple play to end the game and clinch a playoff spot. You don't see that every day. Are the Padres here going to keep trying to put it on the Dodgers and catch up in this division? What do you think happens tonight? Yeah, this seems like, I mean, I kind of talked about this yesterday. Is I, I think that, and based on our disagree, like people want to catch up and, and, and see spots. But uh, most teams, I, I still think, like, have hangover after they do something big like that. They've played so many games. So to not celebrate is crazy. The only circumstance that I think this doesn't happen is when you're facing the team who is the division leader directly above you. And you both hate each other. Like, I don't know if you have watched many Padre Dodgers games. They get electric. Like, uh, Landon Knack got pulled in the fourth inning because that game was getting close. He wasn't pitching awful. Um, kind of like what I talked about. They 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 want to play this like a playoff game. Dude, they, this is a, I think this is a playoff game tonight, dude. Cease versus yeah. Flaherty. This is like must-watch TV. Yeah. I can't wait for they're, this game. They're, this is going to be as serious a game as possible. I think they celebrate when the series is over. Um, I, I, I put no weight really into the fact that they've clinched anything. So, with that, I think getting a price on the second batter in the order who's back from injury. It's a pretty good baseball player, I would say. Go Fernando Tatis over half a run plus RBI, minus 111. That is on Prop Builder at BetUS. An amazing price is actually the only sports book that allows run plus RBIs as a sports book with Prop Builder. Another reason you should get BetUS, I, I'm telling you, Prop Builder is so beatable. I, it is a very good thing to have. This is a great one-off market. Uh, Tatis over half a run plus RBI, minus 111. Usually a two-spot batter in a game that's going to be totaled basically eight. It was seven and a half juiced over. Is like 130, 126. So getting 111 seems like a great price, great batter. Uh, I, will, I will gladly take this. Uh, Kenny, I've seen some reports here, and uh, Trevor Vandenbosch Jones has been our resident stat guy in the chat all year long, and he's telling me they were celebrating and popping bottles in the visitors' clubhouse last night. Is so this last week of the year is wild betting baseball. It really is, right? And now we're really starting to get most things clinched. There's a little bit of mystery for that last wild card spot in each league. What are we doing here? Are we trusting the Padres? Did the Padres party too hard in L.A.? Are the Dodgers trying to win this? What do we got going on here? What do you think? Yeah, dude, I, if they celebrated, they celebrated. There's no way that they were getting after it last night. They're two games back. My, my first question would right. be, does, it, does anybody know, like, at the at the peak, what the Dodgers' lead was in the division? Because they have a two-game lead now. It had to have been as high as, like, 10 at one point, right? I don't the, know if it got that high because Arizona was hanging in all year. Remember, so Arizona would get on these runs and sort of keep it close, and then Arizona fell off. I feel like they've been like both teams have been kind of pushing it and then falling back. They've been Red Turtle showing it, Mario Kart style. You know what I mean? Getting close, Red Turtle show, Red Turtle show, but not all the way. I don't think it's been double. It could have been double digits because I, I don't know about you guys, but do you guys lose track of the standings like throughout the year? I don't like. I get yeah. so busy covering this that I'll be like, I'll look like, oh shit, you know, these guys are four back. I didn't realize it because I'm not paying attention to the standings, but I'm not sure that they were blowing them out, but I do know I'm just looking here. Someone's asking Jake Brubaker. You can get seven to one for the Padres to win the NL West right now. Is that, is that true? I hate it. I hate it. I hate, I mean, it's, it's a very good bet. I hate it because <laughs> I have, I have Dodgers, Padres, Diamondbacks, one, two, three. Um, oh, right. Chat really quick. Dodgers. Anybody know, anybody know uh, what the, the, the tiebreaker, I guess, between the two right now. Cause it's like, if you're just trying to price this out, if you're going to get seven to one, if the, the Padres win these next two games. They're sent. They're they're now tied. And if if you're expecting to get, I don't know, plus one ten on both of those games, I mean, you're already already doing better than seven to one. So, I think it might be worth it, man. I, the the only reason this stood out to me was like on a lot of the shows we sort of like did like a little standings watch, and we were kind of firing some some random futures here, looking for like these long shot division winners. And at no point over the last two months did I ever even consider looking at the Padres. Like I I feel right. like we just got blindsided here. So. Uh, I'm pumped for this game, man. I have no action whatsoever, but I will be watching. This is going to be must-see TV tonight. Yeah, must-see TV. For purposes of the show, we're locking in Fernando Tatis over a half RB run plus RBI for Corby, and that's sitting at minus 111. Love that. Uh, I'm looking at some of these here just to make sure no reports were good. 